my name is Jonathan Boshin, and welcome to another edition of FCAT South County Spotlight. On the evening of January 11th, 2024, Frontier Community Access Television held its first annual open house and also its annual meeting. The event was well attended, and attendees were treated to a delicious variety of goodies and also got to check out the station's equipment, studio, and meet the staff. At the annual meeting, the general manager, who is yours truly, and the youth outreach coordinator, who is Kevin Murphy, gave their annual reports. A full recording of the meeting is available on the FCAT YouTube channel. To give an abridged version of both reports, 2023 was overall a very productive and exciting year for Frontier Community Access Television. While certainly a busy year, there were several important tasks and projects completed that will greatly help the station in fulfilling its 2024 goals. The usual duties of FCAT throughout 2023 consisted of covering South County local events, government meetings, frontier school functions, and also managing our three channels. The government meetings consisted of mainly select board meetings, other public hearings, and information sessions, and also the four annual town meetings. For non-government related events, FCAT oversaw the coverage of numerous music concerts, such as the popular Watermelon Wednesdays, lectures, and presentations that were put on by the local libraries and historical societies. FCAT was also heavily involved with documenting numerous events for the Frontier Regional School. Coverage of these events was overseen by our youth coordinator, Kevin Murphy, and they consisted of sporting events, concerts, graduation exercises, the telethon, and other school functions. It's worth noting as well that the school events frequently used student volunteers, which gave the students professional experience working on a video production set. The sports videos and broadcasts were highly appreciated by members of the community as it allowed family members of student players and fans of Frontier Regional School who may not be in the area or available to attend the events to watch and see the games from the comfort of their own home. FCAT wishes to thank all the student volunteers who helped us out throughout 2023 with coverage of school events. Speaking of students and professional experience, one of the projects undertaken by Kevin Murphy and several of his FCAT student volunteers was participating in Northampton Open Media's Crowdsource Cinema. For those unfamiliar with Crowdsource Cinema, this is an annual project overseen by Northampton Open Media in which various public access media centers, such as FCAT, recreate a famous movie. Individual scenes are assigned to participants, and they are recreated in a variety of ways. This year, the movie was Toy Story, and young FCAT volunteers worked with Kevin Murphy to recreate one of the scenes from the movie. The scene, as you can see here, was cleverly recreated by using a green screen technique. A special thank you to FCAT production lead Ben Roberts for his hard work on this video. This experience gave Frontier students a hands-on approach on seeing what is involved in producing a movie. The management of the cable channels was overseen by Jonathan Boshin, and this included programming the channels and maintaining the bulletin boards up to date. Programming consisted of events, lectures, and meetings covered by FCAT, public domain material, FCAT documentaries produced by Jonathan Boshin or Kevin Murphy, and also a new bi-weekly 4 to 10 minute common interest news program entitled the South County Spotlight. In addition, outside programming was also aired, consisting of musical concerts and lectures produced by other Massachusetts public access stations, and also other nationally syndicated shows released under Creative Commons such as Democracy Now!, Music and the Spoken Word, and Polka Time with Ed Targonsky. The bulletin board is another important part of the FCAT cable channels. A few hundred slides were designed for the board that were produced by Jonathan Boshin, and each slide made use of fonts, colors, and graphics to communicate important community bulletins. 
Along with its usual duties, FCAT also oversaw the coverage of the Deerfield 350th celebration that took place throughout 2023. Events consisted of numerous historical society lectures, the Deerfield 350th parade, a fireworks display, chicken barbecue, a special 350th softball game against the town of Northfield, dances, performances, and open houses. Another focus of FCAT in 2023 this year was to transform the station and studio into an up-to-date community media center that can fully and professionally serve all basic aspects of media production. The studio was extensively upgraded. Kevin Murphy constructed a beautiful set which can be used for recording talk shows and also podcasts. A second backdrop set was also put together which consists of a white seamless backdrop, green screen, and black backdrop, and new set lighting. New studio equipment was also purchased for these sets as well. Moving forward in 2024, the station is going to focus on building its community engagement and recruiting more community members to get involved with FCAT in both a volunteer and production standpoint. To do this, Kevin Murphy will continue to work with Frontier students and offer classes and volunteer opportunities to them. Jonathan Boshan will continue to reach out to the adult public at local community events. And, in the near future, FCAT will offer education programs consisting of video production and editing classes, video and moving screenings, and possibly bringing in guest speakers to do classes and talks on media productions. It is the hopes that this plan will help drive up interest in the station and recruit not only volunteers, but also future media producers. If you are interested in getting involved with Frontier Community Access Television as a volunteer or media producer, please email FCAT at mail at FCAT.tv or call us at 413-665-0012. Overall, it's going to be an exciting year for Frontier Community Access Television, and one that is going to put their facilities to full use. While FCAT will continue to fulfill its usual duties and serve our four towns of Conway, Deerfield, Sunderland, and Waitley, it will also grow from both a volunteer and content standpoint. While some of the station's goals may be challenging, they are challenges that the station is ready to tackle. On that note, this concludes this edition of the South County Spotlight. Thank you for tuning in, and I'll see you next time on the South County Spotlight, and hopefully at Frontier Community Access Television.